Hi -oh. I actually quite enjoy TVP these days. It's actually um, quite a fun, exciting matchup. It's always a challenging game, of course, but the games can be quite varied and they're quite, um, yeah, often quite fun, interesting. So I'll see if I get an opportunity to show you my Hellion build in this game. Um, unfortunately, like uh, in all the recent games, we've been getting cheesed by. Um, Protoss is going for one base aggression. It doesn't really work if they do that. This is this is more for a greedy build, especially if he goes for Additional greedy early tech. Uh, it, it took, you know, off, off two bases, it can, it can be very good, especially if he doesn't scout. Like you'll notice at the pro Not level that um, that uh, Protoss players are almost always build an adept first and send it across the map, and they use it for scouting. But it, at uh, you know the plat in platinum leagues, it's actually quite rare, and um, so often they don't get a scout if you build your Italians off um, off of sort of a reacted. Um, yes, see, what's this guy doing? It's, it's not a cannon rush. It's another cannon rush, is it? Um, if they don't get the scout that you're building Italians off of off a reacted uh, factory, and they they don't um, wall off the front. You can actually often do hella damage. Insufficient. So, so yeah, it's one Reaper to send across the map. I like to chase this guy out until I get my racks down, and you can pull it back. It looks like he's going home. Then you can you can sort of pull it back to build the depot. Move it. And if if, if he comes back in, you can just pull the the SCB off the off the um. The, the construction Complete. of the um, command center and just attack the probe for a while because because the uh, reaper's going to come out. Okay, he's come back. This is exactly what I mean. Yeah, that's nice. So we built one marine behind this. And then we build a reactor. Not enough minerals. Okay, he's sort of walling off. We're gonna get another pro kill, which is really nice. He's chronoing something out, so we can't be too greedy for too long yet. Use a grenade. Now because it's a stalker first, we're gonna and we're gonna be building Hellions, we we, we need a an early bunker. Um, I'm listening. So let's keep this out here to see if he's coming across. Add on complete. But this could actually work really well. So he, yeah, he's not he's not building in the depth. And then we're actually going to go into a second racks. Okay. Not enough minerals. I actually should have started both of the helmets first. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. All right. Okay, so this is nice. We get that in. Command center upgrade. Add on. Complete. So let's see if he's gone for a, a full wall off. Yeah, he has gone for a wall off. Okay. Okay, that's actually that's actually very unfortunate. So what what we could do here is um is actually uh go for a helium drop instead. Not enough minerals. And what we can do, so the, the cool thing about this build is, um, you, you actually have, you have, um, a fast bio transition behind it, okay? I, I was a bit slow producing my Hellions here. But you see he's not scouting, so we're going to build a medevac, okay, and now this goes and builds tanks, and we've got... Double bio production, and now we can go into our third. Big job, huh? Okay. So, yeah, from above. and we'll send this across, and then we can go into our tank production as well. And we should be able to get a pretty good scout of what he's doing. What's going on? Yeah. Add on. And we build a tank because he's building stalkers. That's actually probably not the best place. Honestly, or the, the third command center, because if he blinks up here, he can kill it. 
Incoming. He can even hit it from the low ground potentially. Okay, now SCB I'm gonna go into Raven behind this. Okay. SCB ready. So hopefully we can get some damage done here. Go ahead. Drop a supply depot before we go in, and a couple of engineering base. And we'll also get combat shield started. Okay. And a raven. Okay, this is. Somebody, get me out of this mess. Yeah, this could be really good. Ah, uh, don't, don't die, please. Oh, this is really good. So this is what I mean, you can just get absolute game-ending damage. Okay, now he's he's going to go for a counter-attack. After this, absolute, for sure. But we should... We should actually have okay. This there was a the observer. Here, can we get it? We can. Nice. Actually, I, I want um. Command center upgrade. I should have I should have actually moved that earlier. Okay, so you can see, you know, we're actually not macroing behind it that well. Now we can go and scout the third base. This better be good. There's no, I'm surprised there's no counterattack yet, but... See if he's got a third base yet? Oh, he does. Okay, he's still at home. So... We're gonna send everything out. complete. So yeah, we should we should be really good here. Let's let's go around here and see that he's not doing anything crazy like trying to take two bases at once. Go go go! SCB ready. SCB ready. Okay, we're gonna sense the tower, and we might as well get another base. Not enough minerals. Not ready for dust off. SCB ready. So yeah, we're we're looking really good here. We can even go for a push. I just want another, another couple of airbags. Yo, big job. Pattern complete. SCB ready. On the way. Yes, indeed. Research complete. Okay, so he's still walling off. Upgrade. Now that's that's not actually a scary army. So I'm gonna um, I think we can actually go for an attack here. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave some stuff at home. Got two two upgrades. I'm gonna put a turret here. Actually, I'll put it here. And what I could even do here is do I could drop one one into the main. Additional supply I want to go to the academy here. Need more supply. Ready for dust off. We'll double expand. SCB ready. Okay. Base is on the top. This better be good. SCB ready. Now we'll go in here. Okay, now we shouldn't have done that. Let's pull back. But we still do have this drop here. Upgrade complete. So how many workers do we have? We have 71 workers, which is enough. So that, that was okay. That was sufficient damage. And we can actually start adding some ghosts now. Let's get close. I'll add a second armory for upgrades. I'll also add a fusion core. 
And we want we've only got five rats. You should really have um I can't build here. Eight. You want eight eight rats. We can afford to add some turrets for detection. What's going on? Okay, so he transitions into DTs. Okay, and he's still on three bases, so we should be comfortably winning this game. SCB ready. Big job, huh? Liberation is a Not enough Going to liberators. We're macroing very well here. Upgrade complete. And we definitely want to also get the MP, the uh, MP Not range enough. extension. Not we'll get another sensor tower. Now I'm going to get Liberator Range and Medivac Speed. I think Medivac Speed is one of the most under, underrated um, upgrades. Okay. So it's Stalker Heavy, right? So what we should do is add another factory and build more tanks. And we can add Ghost. Now I'm just going to keep my army together. Now he's prob he's probably expanding up here, is he? No. Okay. So this is the point we can start to add more command centers. We can even go up, up to. Um, we can even start putting. Um, I'll get a nuke as well. We can even start building extra plant trees, which is nice. Make sure you're getting upgrades. I can even go up to triple um, armory. Okay, I've actually I'm actually out of energy. That's okay. So yeah, we're a bit late adding more orbitals, but we're gonna. I probably scanned a little bit more frequently than I had to. Okay, so now we've got two factories. We can start to add more starports. More turrets so there's no warp prison or anything like that. Okay. Okay, I think this is actually this is actually a good time to attack. Oops. I don't have I don't have a scan, that's really annoying. Nuclear missile ready. Not enough energy. Make that a plant tree. Upgrade complete. What's going on? Minute. Ah, come back. God damn it, I shouldn't have done that. Some EMPs off. Oh my god, I just got destroyed. That was my fault for not paying attention. Command center upgrade. Yikes. Command center upgrade complete. Talk to me. We should still be okay. But man, that, that was that was crazy bad. Ah. Oh. Upgrade complete. Minimum. Upgrade complete. I'm disappointed actually. We we were playing hella well in this game. But yeah, I just I just was a bit sloppy there. Actually, I'll just yes, make that. I'll just make that. Complete. I'm going. Research. Okay. Complete. complete. Oh, 
fuck, man? Why can't I click? Ready for desktop. The problem the problem with ghosts is that they um Yes sir. The problem with ghosts is that they uh they mess up your stim. Like if you can't actually stim So I've still I've still really gotta work on that. My, my ghost control leaves a lot to be desired. Mineral field depleted. Go, go, go. Okay, he's gonna come hit the other side now. Why is my um? So we should be able to outmine him. But my 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 screen has gone black. Okay, there's actually an observer there as well. Add on. Complete. Huh? Yep. Upgrade complete. Unacceptable command. Right. Man, the storms, man. Upgrade. Can I actually no. snipe some High Templars, maybe? No, no. Yeah, I think we've got them. Okay, we're just... Yeah, that that was... My micro control in this game was, was terrible, but but what we did do is we absolutely crushed him in the early game. So we were able to able to just just do everything we wanted to do from a macro perspective. I've got three, three up upgrades, I think, on everything, almost. Um, let's see, it's lost. Okay, you know, it's 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 surprising, you know, maybe those fights didn't go quite as bad as I thought. But but let let's have let's have a look at the game situation um you know after I did that early that early damage, right? So he he had a full wall off here which is why we why we had to use the medevac and it worked it worked well. So early robo. Yeah, so this was this was really, really awesome. So I wonder how many probes we got. I think we got two with the Reaper. So yeah, we got 16 worker kills, right? So this, this is what I mean. It, it and one of the great things about this is it's such a low commitment build, right? So so after you, you build the second racks, okay, um, while while you're producing the Hellions, and then you switch them over. So it doesn't really slow your bio production down very much. It does slow down the pace of you getting your initial tank. So what, what you have to be careful of, you, you really need to make sure you get a bunker up early because you're, you're not going to have many Marines. But if he's playing passive, like if he's not scouting, like he didn't scout with, a, with an Adept, uh, and he um, he did wall off, but he was just sort of camping at, you know, just sort of camping at home, then um, then this, this build can be really, really good. Um, so yeah, the... Situations 47 to 35 probes, and I've already got my third command center done. So this is just a very, very significant lead in the early game. I think we got another probe there. So the Reaper got. No, it didn't. It didn't get it. But the Reaper did get two. Scattered the third base timing. Now I thought I had enough to push here um, to push the third. Now what I didn't do is I didn't bring I didn't bring everything. I, I didn't bring this tank and I didn't bring this tank and this there's, there's four uh, marine, marines left in this bunker and I did the drop at the same time. So if you know the army supply here 44 to 29 but you know I've got stim, got combat shields, concussives about to finish. I think if I had brought everything and been a bit more together that 
that initial fight would have gone a lot better. So yeah, he's not really scouting what I'm doing. You know, he just sends an observer across and didn't really pay too much attention to it. But yeah, I should have been able to beat this army if I'd sieged three tanks. Snipe this, you know, I've got Raven. The Raven's got um, 126 energy, which I didn't really use. So yeah, this force is, is too small now, once I've, once I've taken this out. Um, what I was expecting him to do is react to the drop by sending his units back, and then I could actually go in and hit the space as well. But he, he didn't he didn't actually respond that way, which is surprising. So anyway, how did this drop go? Not that well. We did get two stalkers, but we only got three workers, a, a cannon and two stalkers, so pretty even trade. And this, this fight was not very good, so yeah. That was not great, but behind it, we're double expanding. I wonder if this guy got an extra probe kill. Sometimes you can pick up a probe kill. So yeah, look at the supplies here. Yeah, I did. See, I got another probe kill. But then you lose it because he brings his army over, but yeah. Now, I just... I, I did have a go, so I just... I messed up the... Um, I messed up my, my Ghost Micro, um, and I didn't get the uh, EMPs off as efficiently as I could. So he's got an Observer here, he's got an Observer here. He's, so he's got plenty of Observers, so he's very happy, just trying to max out and attack. So he's caught up on supply, actually. But he's got a lot of low tier, low tier units. Yeah. He dodged the anti-armor missile, which was well done. But yeah, I, I was a bit complacent here, um, and I was busy sort of macroing when I should have been giving this my, my full attention. So I didn't I didn't have my tank sieged. I, I killed the observer, so I thought I was okay. Um, but yeah, this is really bad. This is bad. I should have had those tanks sieged. Okay, so let's see how this fight goes. The resources lost are fairly even, and that's everything he has. A maxed out Protoss army. The upgrades are, you know, two. my upgrades are much better. 2-3 to his 101. So let's see. But yeah, look, my ghosts are back here. And yeah, I just, I have got a nice spread with those. See, these EMPs are just way too late. Seizures were too late. I should have I should have been sniping on my Templar here. Yeah. I should have been killing the High Templar, I could have killed the High Templar. Okay, I got one. Okay, but yeah, just just terrible, terrible control. But actually if you look at that trade, it was actually good. You know, it felt like we just got absolutely decimated. And that's because, you know, Ter Terran armies are actually very cost efficient. This is one of the things, like, there's a lot of drawbacks to Terran, you know, like, but what the cost efficiency of bio is, is very high. And so actually the fight was fun. And because we've got more economy, we, we will be able to, um, yeah, that wasn't great. We'll, we'll be able to um, out, out macro him and out, out rebuild him. So how does this fight go? So I do get some EMPs off here. Yeah, okay, and I got the high templar as well. It's actually, again, actually a very good, a, a decent enough fight. We're actually trading much better than I thought I was. So the EMPs were good there, we got the high templar. So this supply gap is starting to... Now it's a good time to attack when, um, so I spotted the move out to the side, it's a good time to attack when, when he's trying to take another base. But yeah, he's attacking in front of land trees. So I'm remaxed. Yeah. I'm not sieging my liberators, because I'm 
working on my ghost patrol. But what I did get here is, um, yeah, this this was a crushing fight because even even though I at the start of the fight my micro was not very good, what I did do here, I've got my ghosts, quite a few of them, and we get a lot of EMPs off. So watch the EMPs here, EMP, 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 just rip all the shields off. Okay, and, and basically the stop those doing storm damage. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm only just getting my tank siege now. What, what's really difficult as Terran with an army like this is at the start of the fight, what you've got to do is you've got to stim your bio, you've got to cloak your ghosts and EMP, you've got to siege your liberators, you've got to siege your tanks, and you've got to like use your Raven anti armor missile lord. It's just a lot to, to do at once. And I'm still I'm still getting used to doing uh, ghost, but I prioritized the ghost control there. And it actually paid off because the storms had just been destroying us. You know, he's got he's got a lot of high templar in there, and so yeah. Once we once we got the um. Yeah, I think I think when you got that many ghosts, yeah. Getting the EMPs off just takes priority. He still did get some good storms, but not enough to actually kill the bio. So yeah. So despite some very suboptimal um, micro, we still traded two for one better. Um, so yeah, uh, happy happy with how this game went. We we had a significant upgrade um, lead. So happy with how this game went in the end. You can see there just the, that absolute. But yeah, that first fight as well. I was maxed out. This is the other thing that's kind of interesting. I was maxed out, but so was he. And I assume that I had more workers. Yeah, I had more workers. But like, he, he had a lot of very high value units. And when you've got a lot of bio, you know, you, you can max out on, a, on an army that's actually rel of relatively low value. So you do need to trade it out and upgrade it at some point, go into high value units, like less Marines, more ghosts, for instance. Um, like a ghost, if you think about it, it's, it's three times the, one ghost is two supplies, so two, two marines is only 100 minerals of resources. One ghost is 150 minerals, about 100, I think it's 130, 140 gas. So one, one ghost has three times the, the value per unit of, um, per, per unit of supply. And so yeah, at some stage you really need to upgrade your army and even lose some SCVs as well. Um, so that was really one of the reasons, aside from suboptimal micro, that that fight didn't go better for us because um, we had the upgrade lead but he actually had the army value lead so we still took a decent trade um, and then there, there were some small skirmishes here but yeah that final fight you see that we're maxing out on a higher value army here because I've, I've added ghosts and liberators and other high value units to my um, composition so yeah hopefully this was uh, a useful game that the, the Early Hellion Harass, I, I think, is, is really worth playing. It, it gives you an opportunity to, as well as get great scouting to do to, um, to often game ending damage. So um, basically, everything else that flowed from that was just capitalizing on our early game advantage. And you see this this upgrade difference. This is, this is often where you see a macro lead as well as a resources lost lead kind of translate. Into, into upgrade difference and, and it can take into later in the game for that advantage to really kick in but yeah it, it does really kick in when, you, when this sort of advantage accumulates over time so yeah all right thanks for watching see ya